With cold and flu season in full gear and the country experiencing some of the coldest weather it's seen in a while, let's make a bowl of hot wonton. Let's start by making our filling. You'll begin with one cup of shredded Napa cabbage and sprinkle one teaspoon of salt across it. And just kind of mix that all in. And then we're gonna put it aside for about five to 10 minutes to bring out any moisture that might be residing in your cabbage. Next, we're gonna prep our shrimp. You're gonna need a half pound of shrimp and you're gonna roughly chop it and then continue to mince it until you get a nice paste. Next, you'll add your prepared shrimp paste to three quarters of a pound of ground pork. I tend to go with a little bit fattier, like an 85-15, but you can go a little bit leaner, but fat is where the flavor is. And now we're gonna add in our seasonings. We'll start with two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine. If you can't find Shaoxing wine in your area, sherry is a great substitute. Follow that with one fourth teaspoon of kosher salt, a teaspoon of sugar, a half teaspoon of ground white pepper, three cloves of minced garlic, one tablespoon of minced ginger, a fourth cup of minced green onions, a tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. There are three reasons why we salt our cabbage. One, flavor. Two, to get the extra moisture out so it's not soggy. And three, to keep the crispness of the cabbage. Once you've squeezed out your cabbage, add it to the rest of your ingredients and it's time to mix it. Most of the time when you make any sort of meat fillings or meatloaf, meatballs, all that kind of things, you worry about overmixing. You don't really have to worry about that with this mixture because one, we don't have eggs, and two, we're not really using any sort of binding agent like breadcrumbs. So it's actually a good thing to really mix it and mush it all together because it helps emulsify and distribute the fat and the pork throughout all the ingredients, and it makes for a nice light and juicy filling. Now it's time to fill our wontons. You'll need your wonton wrappers, a little bit of water, and the filling mixture. I fill each of my wonton in the center with about one teaspoon of filling. And then I wet all the edges, and I tend to do what they call a purse wrapping, which is pinching the middle together and then taking the sides and pinching them all together and squeezing the top. So it makes like a little purse. Most of the time we like to think that more is better. But when it comes to filling your wonton, less is actually more because if you overfill it like this, you're gonna end up with little holes or possibly just bursting the whole seam and all your delicious filling is gonna end up in your soup and not stay in your wonton. So stick to about one and a half teaspoons of filling maximum per wonton. Another way you can fold your wontons that's pretty typical is an envelope fold. You'll wet the edges, fold it in half and pinch it so you have a triangle. Then you'll wet one of the corners of your triangle and bring it together with the other triangle and then it looks like a little open envelope. I prefer doing the purse fold for soup and the envelope fold if I'm going to toss it with some hot chili oil. When you're ready to cook your wonton, make this delicious broth to cook them in. It infuses extra flavor into the wonton. You'll start with eight cups of chicken broth, one cup of water, one thumb of ginger, that's about two inches. Skin on, because actually a lot of flavor's in there. I just cut it about one fourth inch thick slices. One tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. And three scallions cut into about two inch pieces. Throw those all into a pot and bring to a boil. Once your broth is boiling, add your wonton in. You'll know when your wonton is ready when they float to the top. So you're probably wondering, how many wonton does this make? Well, the recipe that I provided today, you'll make about 60 wonton, but it all comes down to the size of the wrappers that you purchase. The ones in my video come in a package of 51. My recipe makes about 60 wontons, so you're gonna need two packages. But if your wonton wrappers are a little bit bigger, then you might just end up with about 50. My serving sizes are about eight wonton per person if it's an appetizer or if you're including noodles with your soup. But you can do whatever your heart desires. Wonton is Cantonese for eating or swallowing a cloud. 
ravioli, pierogies, wonton, they're all pretty much the same thing. They're all dumplings. The difference between a Chinese dumpling and a Cantonese wonton is all the thickness of the wrapper. The fillings usually are all the same. In a big bowl of broth or tossed with chili oil, wonton is good anytime. Enjoy.